to solve a problem on how to determine the state transition matrix of a system. So let's take a problem. We have the state equations. So our problem is we are given the state equation and we have to obtain the state transition matrix. So let's solve this problem. Now we know that the state transition matrix it is given by e raised to the power 80. So our state transition matrix is phi s equals to si minus a inverse and if we want to calculate phi t then it is e raised to the power 80. Now here we have given the state equation. So from this state equation, we know that the value of this matrix A, it is given by 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is A. So putting the value of A in this formula, we can easily calculate the state transition matrix. So let us first calculate SI minus A. So we have S multiplied with the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Then minus we have A. A is this matrix. So SI minus A will be S minus 0 is 0 minus 1 minus 1. 0 minus minus 2. 2 and s minus minus 3 is s plus 3. So this is si minus a. Now we have to calculate si minus a inverse. So inverse of a matrix is calculated by this is inverse. So it is equal to Adjoint of the matrix divided by the determinant of the matrix is equal to the inverse of the matrix. So first we will calculate the determinant. This is the determinant of SI minus A. So we have the determinant as we will multiply these terms S multiplied with S plus 3 minus the multiplication of 2 and minus 1. So we have S multiplied with S plus 3 minus multiplication of 2 into minus 1. So this is S square plus 3S minus 2 and minus 1 is it is minus 2 so it will become plus 2. So we will have S square plus 3S plus Two. So this is the determinant of SI minus A. Now it joined. A joint of SI minus A will be we have to exchange the two terms. We have S and S plus 3 in this SI minus A. So S plus 3 will come here and S will come here. S plus 3 is and the sign of these two terms will be changed. It will become minus 2 and this is 1. So this is the adjoint. Now we can calculate the inverse. This will be adjoint divided by the determinant. 
So we have 1 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 and this has to be divided by s plus 3, 1 minus 2 and s. So this is si minus a inverse. We can have this value. This is our state transition matrix. So what we have to do, we have to divide each of the term by this s square plus 3s plus 2. That is s plus 3 divided by this, 1 divided by this, minus 2 divided by this and s divided by this. So we have s plus 3 So we have divided all the terms by this. Now we can calculate, uh, let us further simplify this. We have 5s equals to, if we see the factors of this term, this is a quadratic equation, s square plus 3s plus 2. So if we can simplify this. So its factor will come out to be s plus 2 and s plus 1. So we can have here s plus 3 upon s plus 1, s plus 2. Here we will have So this is our state transition matrix, but it is in the S domain. We want to obtain it in the time domain, that is phi t. We want to obtain phi t. So phi t will be what? It is the inverse Laplace transform of phi s. So we have to convert these terms in a form of so that we can apply the Laplace transform formulas easily on it. So what we will do, we will do the factorization. We have first factored our denominator polynomial and we have obtained its factors. Now we will do partial fraction, okay? So that we can apply the Laplace uh, transform formulas easy on, easily on it and we can obtain the phi t. So we have here s plus 3 upon s plus 1, s plus 2. So if we obtain the partial fractions, will be 2 upon s plus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 2. If you solve this, it will be 2s plus 4 minus s plus minus s minus 1. So it will come out to be s plus 3 upon s plus 1, s plus 2. We have just obtained the partial fraction terms. Similarly, in the uh, here, the second term was minus 2 upon s plus 1, s plus 2. So its partial fractions will be So this is the partial fraction of all the four terms. Now we can easily apply the inverse Laplace transform formulas because we know that the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is e raised to the power t. So here we have 2 upon s plus 1. So it will be 2 raised to the power. We have e raised to the power minus 80. Uh, 1 upon s plus a is e raised to the power minus 80. So we can have here, so e raised to uh, 1 upon s plus a, its inverse Laplace transform is e raised to the power minus 80. So here if we apply, phi t will be inverse Laplace transform of phi s and it is 2 upon s plus 1. So it will become e raised to the power minus t. So it is 2 e raised to the power minus t minus. We have 1 upon s plus 2. So it is e raised to the power minus 2t. Similarly here e raised to the power minus t minus e raised to the power minus 2t. 
here we will have minus 2 plus 2 upon e raised to the power minus 2t. Here we will have minus e raised to the power minus t plus 2 e raised to the power minus 2t. So what we have done, we have obtained the state transition matrix in both the S domain and the time domain. Because uh, in both the terms, we want its value. So first in S domain, we have obtained, then we have obtained its factors, partial fractions we have done so that we can apply the inverse Laplace transform formulas and uh, we can obtain the state transition matrix in time domain. So this is our state transition matrix STM or we can say it is our resolvent matrix. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.